Hello viewers, in the last video of this chapter that is polynomials, I have explained remainder theorem and done sums of exercise 2c and today I am going to explain factor theorem. Now according to the factor theorem, suppose px is a polynomial of degree greater than or equals to 1 and suppose a be a real number, if pa equals to 0 then x minus a is a factor of px. This is the statement of factor theorem. Now let me give one example to make this one clear. Suppose Px is one polynomial. Px equals to x square minus twice x plus 1. This is one polynomial of degree 2. Now if I replace x by 1, suppose x is 1, then it will be 1 square minus 2 into 1 plus 1. So it will be 1 minus 2 plus 1. So it will be 2 minus 2 and here 2 minus 2 it will be 0. Since p of 1 we got 0 therefore x minus 1 is a factor of px. Clear? px is a polynomial by replacing x by 1 we got 0. Since after replacing 1 we got 0 that means x minus 1 is a factor of is a factor of the given polynomial that is px. I hope this example is clear. Let me now show sums of 2D. In exercise 2D, first question is using factor theorem prove that x minus 3 is a factor of x cube plus x square minus 17x plus 15. Here polynomial is x cube plus x square minus 17x plus 15 and we have to check whether x minus 3 is a factor of this polynomial. So we can write here x minus 3 equals to 0 that means x equals to 3 now we have to replace this x by 3 so p of 3 will be 3 cube plus 3 square minus 17 into 3 plus 15 now 3 cube 3 cube will be 27 plus 3 square is 9 minus 3 17 here yeah, 51 plus 15 now 27 plus 9 is 36 and 36 plus 15 is 51. So it will be 51 minus 51 that will give 0. Since P of 3 equals to 0, therefore X minus 3 is a factor of given polynomial that is Px. Now in second part of question number 1, we are to prove that X minus 1 is a factor of 2x to the power 4 plus 9x cube plus 6x square minus 11x minus 6. Now in the second part it is given 2x to the power 4 plus 9x cube plus 6x square minus 11x minus 6 is the polynomial and we have to prove that x minus 1 is a factor of this polynomial. So we can write x minus 1 equals to 0 that means x equals to 1. Now we have to replace this one here p of 1 it will be 2 1 to the power 4 plus 9 1 to the power 3 plus 6 1 square minus 11 into 1 minus 6 just replace x by 1. Now it will be 2 1 to the power 4 it will be 1 so no need to write again 9 1 cube will be 1 so we are directly writing 9 plus 6 minus 11 1 j 11 minus 6 now these three are positive we have to add 9 plus 6 15 16 17 so it will be 17 minus minus 11 minus 6 both of them are same sign so it will be added minus 11 minus 6 will be minus 17 which will give 0 since p of 1 we got 0 therefore x minus 1 is a factor of is a factor of the given polynomial which is px. Now let me show first part from question number 2. Here we have to prove that x plus 5 is a factor of x cube plus x square plus thrice x plus 115. As given in the question this is the given polynomial and we have to check x plus 5 is a factor of this polynomial. So we have to make this one 0. So we got x equals to minus 5. Now we have to replace this minus 5 here. So p of minus 5 it will be 
minus 5 cube plus minus 5 square plus 3 into minus 5 plus 115. Now minus 5 cube it will be minus 125 because 5 cube is 125 and just because odd number 3 is an odd number so minus will remain as it is and 5 cube is 125 plus here minus 5 square 5 square is 25 and just because this is even number this minus will become plus now plus minus minus 3 5 just 15 plus 115 now out of these four terms these two are negative these two are positive so minus 125 minus 15 this will give minus 140 and 115 and 25 if we add then we are going to get plus 140 which will give 0 therefore x plus 5 is a factor of is a factor of the given polynomial that is px I think second part of question number two you can do it yourself let me show one from question number three in the first part of question number three it is given we have to prove that 3x minus 2 is a factor of 3x cube plus x square minus 20x plus 12 now in this sum this is the given polynomial and we have to check 3x minus 2 is a zero of this polynomial so we will make 3x minus 2 equal to zero that means 3x equals to 2 so x will be 2 by 3 now we have to replace this 2 by 3 instead of x so p of 2 by 3 will be 3 2 by 3 whole cube plus 2 by 3 whole square minus 20 into 2 by 3 plus 12 just replace x by 2 by 3 here it will be 3 into 2 cube is 8 3 cube is 27 plus 2 square 4 3 square 9 minus 20 to the 40 by 3 plus 12 now this 3 and 27 can be cancelled it will be 9 now if we take the LCM LCM will be 9 9 divided by 9 1 1 into 8 8 plus 9 divided by 9 1 4 1 ja 4 minus 9 divided by 3 is 3 3 into 40 it will be 120 plus 9 divided by 1 is 9 9 into 12 it will be 108 now 8 plus 4 is 12 12 plus 108 it will be 120 minus 120 divided by 9 120 minus 120 is 0 0 by 9 will give 0 since p 2 by 3 equals to 0 so by factor theorem so by factor theorem we can write that 3x minus 2 is a factor of the given polynomial that is px i hope first part of question number three is clear and second part you can do it yourself it is of the same type let me show one from question number four let me show the second part of question number 4 where we have to prove that x plus root 2 is a factor of 2 root 2 x square plus 5x plus root 2. Now in this question polynomial is this one and we have to check that x plus root 2 is a factor of this one. So we have to make this one 0. So x will be minus root over 2. Now we have to replace this minus root 2 in this polynomial. So p of minus root 2 equals to 2 root over 2 minus root over 2 whole square plus 5 into minus root 2 plus root over 2. So 2 root over 2 minus minus plus root 2 square will be 2 plus minus minus 5 root over 2 plus root over 2. Clear? 2 root over 2. Now minus since power is even number so it will become plus and root 2 square is 2 plus minus minus 5 root over 2 plus root over 2. So this will be 2 to the 4 root over 2 minus 5 root over 2 plus root over 2. Now 4 root 2 plus root 2 this will give 5 root 2 minus 5 root 2 this will give 0. Since P of minus root 2 equals to 0 so by factor theorem 
So by factor theorem, we can say that x plus root 2 is a factor of the given polynomial px. Is a factor of px. Okay, I hope this sum is clear. Let me show the last sum from this exercise. That is question number 5. In question number 5, we have to prove that x plus 1 and twice x minus 3, these two are factors of this polynomial 2x cubed minus 9x square plus x plus 12. First, we have to check that x plus 1 is a factor. Then we have to check that twice x minus 3 is also a factor of this polynomial. Here, this is the polynomial and we have to check that x plus 1 is a factor. So, we have to make x plus 1 equal to 0. So, we got x equals to minus 1. Now, we have to replace this x by minus 1. It will be 2 minus 1 cube minus 9 minus 1 square plus minus 1 plus 12. So, it will be 2 minus 1 cube. It will be minus 1. Just because it is odd number, so it will be minus. Just because since power is odd number, so minus will remain and 1 cube is 1. Minus 9 minus 1 square. Since it is even number, so it will become plus 1. Plus minus minus 1 plus 12. So it will be minus 2 minus 9 minus 1 plus 12. Here 9, 10, 11, 12. So, minus 12 plus 12, which will give 0. Therefore, x plus 1 is a factor of px. Again, we have to check that twice x minus 3 is a factor of the given polynomial. So, we can write twice x minus 3 equals to 0. So, twice x equals to 3. So, x equals to 3 by 2. Now we have to replace this 3 by 2 in the given polynomial. So it will be P 3 by 2 equals to 2 3 by 2 whole cube minus 9 3 by 2 whole square plus 3 by 2 plus 12. So it will be 2 3 cube is 27. Two cube is 8 minus 9 into 3 square is 9, 2 square is 4, plus 3 by 2, plus 12, if we want, you can write 1. So, it will be 27 by 4, minus 81 by 4, plus 3 by 2, plus 12 by 1. Now, LCM of 4, 4, 2 and 1 will be 4. 4 divided by 4, 1, 1 into 27, 27 minus 4 divided by 4 1 1 into 81 81 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 3 to the 6 plus 4 divided by 1 4 4 12 ja 48 now 48 plus 27 plus 6 48 plus 6 it will be 54 and 54 plus 27 is 81 minus 81 by 4 81 minus 81 is 0. 0 by 4, it will be 0. Since P 3 by 2 equals to 0, so by factor theorem, so by factor theorem, we can write so by factor theorem, twice x minus 3 is a factor of, is a factor of Px. That means both x plus 1 and twice x minus 3 are factors of the given polynomials. Hence proved. I hope the factor theorem and the sums of 2D are now clear. And that's all for today. In the next video, I'm going to start 2E. Till then, bye-bye, take care and wait for the next part.